Right, Bray Wyatt pitch black match. This was really interesting because they did turn the lights out, but then everything started to glow. We had a lot of fluorescent colors around. So uh, here you can see Bray in the ring. This face paint that he's got and these markings on his body, they were not visible as he made his way down to the ring. But as soon as they turned the lights out, and I think like a UV light uh, was put onto the ring, that's when all of this became visible. It is so cool. It is so different. Uh, there's even a close-up here of his face. And on the side, it is worth mentioning, you could see the number six. He had V1 on the side of his head, which uh, obviously, if you're a fan of WrestleMania, you'll know your Roman numerals. And uh, yeah, that is number six. So he did have six on the side of his head. Uh, then obviously we had the match. Uh, you can see LA Knight in some really nice ring gear. He was uh, in like fluorescent yellow and that was very visible. You can see the ring ropes are shining. They had Mountain Dew pitch black in the ring as well. All these uh, lights shooting out. It was quite the spectacle. It was really impressive. Uh, the match would uh, not go that long, actually. They would fight in the crowd a little bit. They would fight at the ringside area. All these green or yellow little bead things would like come out of the commentary table, but the commentators didn't seem to tell us what they were. Either way, Sister Abigail and a win for Bray. Bray looked huge as well, by the way. He had real size here. He looked really big. Um, Sister Abigail, he gets the win. Uh, short match. Uh, I think that this was quite the spectacle. Um, I, I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was good, but we weren't done. He then put on this mask. Is this Uncle Harper? Why would he put on this mask? What was the purpose of this mask? It's like a fiend mask, but it's not the fiend. This feels like someone different. And I wonder if this is Uncle Harper. Obviously, I don't know, but that is going to be, I would imagine, what a lot of people are pondering this evening. So he put this mask on. He then went stalking after LA Knight. Again, you can see all these colored beads all over the floor coming out of that commentary table. We then went over to a platform where Uncle Howdy appeared at the top of this platform, jumped off the platform, landed onto... LA Knight, all the fire shooting up. You can see Bray standing there watching as LA Knight is driven into that platform. Um, and we weren't quite finished then because we just got this shot at the end. You can see the puppets at the top. There's Rambling Rabbit, Huskus, uh, Mercy, uh, Abby the Witch. You can see those guys just on the top of that platform peering down. And Bray looking down as well. Don't know where Uncle Howdy went, but he drove. You can kind of see LA Knight's legs sticking out there. Bray's logo was just on one of these boxes as well, worth mentioning. Um, yeah, this, this finish was interesting. The puppets appearing again was interesting. But uh, yeah, this is definitely something that um, is going to have people talking. I feel like the bigger talking point, though, or the biggest talking point is going to be this character here. It's going to be this mask here. Who is this person? Is this a glimpse of Uncle Harper? Lots of questions, not many answers, but uh, hopefully we will get some as uh, we continue to uh, move into Royal Rumble and, of course, uh, SmackDown on Friday.